It's time for a quick review of Shovel Knight. Start! I thought that this was just going to be another overhyped game, but I've never been so happy to be proven so wrong. Shovel Knight is one part Castlevania, one part Mega Man, one part DuckTales, and one part Mario 3. It's easy enough for anyone to pick up and play, regardless of their history of platformers, yet it's also challenging enough for even a veteran like me to have a blast. By making the jewels you pick up the in-game currency, it gives you actual incentive to collect them, and making points not very, um, point less? Besides that, you lose part of your stockpile when you die instead of making you lose a life because, let's face it, lives are a pretty archaic game mechanic. Oh, and you can even break the checkpoints for more loot in exchange for it no longer being a checkpoint. That is awesome. And you know what else is awesome? The soundtrack. The level design is top-notch, the controls are extremely tight, and while the game might be short, the replay value is through the roof. There's also plenty of secrets and side quests, as well as that classic retro humor. If Shovel Knight came out 20 or 30 years ago, it would have easily become one of the most popular titles of all time. However, with it coming out in modern times, I'm fine with it just being the perfect love letter to NES past. If you guys know me, then you'll know that I never give a game a 10 out of 10, because if I can find even the smallest thing to nitpick, it's not perfect. That being said, Shovel Knight blows me away. People might hate on how short the game is, but the way I see it, if a game is only 30 minutes long, and by the way, Shovel Knight is not only 30 minutes long, but still, if those are some of the best 30 minutes of your entire life, it's not too short. Absolutely everything about Shovel Knight is spot on, and I'm happy to say that it gets my first ever perfect score. All hail the Triple King. Continue?